Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get started. Today, find out how the price of Ethereum has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, Divergence, Stochastic RSI and MACD show. If you are unfamiliar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos below. Looking at the Ethereum hourly time frame, the price moved only slightly to the downside with around 1.4% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 1745. Jumping to the hourly simple moving averages, the current price is between the 100 and the 50 SMA. If the price bounces off the 100 SMA which is currently at 1715 it could be seen as a support and the 50 SMA that is at 1749 could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. For longer price development, the daily time frame should also be considered as the shorter time frames are not as accurate. Moving to the hourly stochastic RSI, there are no signs of the stochastic RSI being oversold or overbought at this time, but because the percent %K line is over the percent %D line, we can deduce that the trend is currently on the up. Looking at the hourly MACD, Seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. Looking at the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is strong at the moment and we can expect the price to continue growing or maybe at least remaining the same for some time. Jumping to the three hourly simple moving averages, for this time interval, the current price is above all of the simple moving averages, which looks bullish and you should watch if the closest SMA, the 50 SMA could remain stable or the price will dip below it with the current price of around 1675. Searching for divergence in the three hourly time frame, owing to a bearish divergence, the price could go down from now on or at least remain stable for the time being. Moving to the three hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the lower region, which means that the price is getting oversold and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. The trend has shifted upwards because the K line is currently located above the D line. Looking at the three hourly MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. The momentum is currently indecisive, according to the MACD histogram. This means you should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish, due to the expected shifting momentum. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time.